with Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Head on over to Dollar Tree and grab some of these bins for these awesome barbecue party ideas. Start by placing a tablecloth onto your table. A great way to hold the tablecloth in place is to grab some dollar store clips and clip them around the table. Another alternative idea for a tablecloth is to grab a fitted sheet and place it onto your table. Grab a cake carrier from the dollar store. Place plates, napkins, cups, and silverware onto the cake carrier and put the lid on. Place your condiments into a muffin tin. Another little tip is to grab two of these lasagna pans from the dollar store. Pull them apart, fill one half with ice. You can then place your condiments onto the ice and it will keep them nice and cool for your big party. Grab a Sharpie when it comes to your party cups. Make sure to have every guest put their name onto the cup. Keep those pesky bugs out of your cups. Once you fill them with the beverage of your choice, use muffin liners to put over the top of the cup. Fill an oversized container with ice and then place your drinks in it. Make your own hand wash station. Grab a drink or beverage dispenser, fill it with water, and place it on your table. Place soap and a towel near them. Grab a shower cap for this next hack. Place it over the top of a bowl to protect it from flies getting in. This is great for storage as well. Another tip, put ice in the shower cap and then place the bowl in top. It'll keep your bowls nice and cool. For this next project, I'm gonna take a serrated knife and I'm gonna cut this pool noodle in half. You could use a saw or scissors or other things. They're very easy to cut. Next, I'm gonna take some hot glue and add it to the end of the pool noodle. And then I'm going to stick another pool noodle like so to the other side and let this cool. I repeated this to both sides and this is the shape that I've made. Now you can use a lot of different things for this next step. I'll be using water bottles. You could use cans, whether it is the kind of can that, you know, like holds things like canned vegetables, or you can use soda cans as well. What we've done here is set ourselves up an outdoor bowling alley. For this next step or next project, I've got a piece of cardboard here and I've placed this lid on and then traced around it. Now I just need to cut this circle out. So what I've got here is just some red spray paint and I've laid the template down and I'm spraying the grass and I'm going to carefully lift up, move it over. And I need to do this a total of three more times so I have a total of four circles. Now that I have my first four dots, I simply move over and start with a new color. So a total of four colors and four rows. And what we've created here is a wonderful game of Twister. For this project, you're gonna need some Tiki Fuel, a Tiki Lamp, a dollar store flower basket, and some Rust-Oleum cement spray paint. First, I removed all of the string from the hanging flower planter. Now you could leave the planter as is, but I'll be using Rust-Oleum cement spray paint. And I painted the entire flower pot and then let that dry completely before moving on. Next, I grabbed my Tiki Torch lamp that I got on clearance at Walmart, and I filled it with the bug repellent Tiki Torch fluid. Once the planter was dry, I placed the Tiki Torch in the center of the flower planter. Next, I grabbed some gravel from our kids' playground and placed it all around the entire tiki torch until I filled it all the way up to the top. I had decided to add some bigger rocks to the top and I kept placing these around it until I kind of got the desired look that I was going for. You could alternatively use glass rock, crushed glass, anything that you like. To use it, simply remove the cap, grab a clicky lighter, and light your tiki torch. Now I chose a clean burning fuel that will also repel bugs while we're hanging out outside together. Now some of you may remember my terracotta pot turtles. I've got my bar of Irish spring soap. I simply place it underneath the turtles. So I'm gonna place the soap there and place the turtles right on top. And now the soap can come out from underneath. The smell is underneath there, keeping the flies and bugs away. Do you like these ideas? Let me know what you think. Leave a note in the comments below. Do you want to get notified? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Do you want 21 sensible home hacks that make you a smarter homeowner? Look for the sign up in the description below.